the Hyundai i10 is quite a cheap car. And does that extend to the way it feels on the inside? Well, thankfully, on the inside, the cabin is pretty neat, tidy, and is livened up by some contrasting dashboard trim. Build quality is really impressive for such a small, cheap car, and it could almost pass for a car one size larger. The equipment levels are pretty good too. The most basic S cars get electric front windows and remote central locking, but it's best to go for the SE because it adds air conditioning and Bluetooth. The premium gets alloy wheels, but if you want inbuilt satellite navigation, you need the top spec premium SE as it's only available on that particular model, which is a little bit annoying. The screen itself is fairly bright, the graphics are clear and the layout is logical. It's easy to find your way around because there's a row of physical shortcut buttons below the screen that are big enough to use when you're on the move. The home screen is split into two, with navigation on the left and media info and shortcuts on the right. Click into the main menu and it's possible to arrange the icons into whichever order you like. Plotting a destination on the satellite navigation is simple. There's a big on-screen keyboard which has a predictive text function that greys out the letters and numbers that can't be used. Loading times can be a little bit slow though, but you can't expect the world in a car this cheap. If you need to swing by a petrol station or another waypoint, programming the stop-off is pretty straightforward too. The i10 also gets live traffic reports to help you avoid the worst jams. And if you connect the car to a Wi-Fi connection, you can even download weather reports and local point of interest information. If you'd rather make use of your smartphone, the premium SE model comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility, and both systems work as well as ever. The Android setup lets you pinch and swipe on the mapping screen, and depending on the phone you're using, loading times are quicker than the built-in setup from Hyundai. Android Auto also offers access to your mobile contacts and music library. If you'd rather use the built-in setup instead for your tunes, there's a DAB radio or a Bluetooth connection. The speakers aren't brilliant though, so if you want a small car with big sound, you'll need to try out the Volkswagen Up or Seat Me, which both have optional Beats audio systems. Still, despite this, the Hyundai i10 is quite impressive for such a small, cheap car, when you consider the amount of kit you get as standard and the quality of its small interior. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and click on our logo to subscribe to the channel. Also click on the video windows to see more of our great videos.